guys much like some super annoying men there are some specific types of women that boys should always steer clear of i am going to save you some serious heartbreaks some loss of cash and energy and mental drainage as today i'll discuss about eight specific types of women that if you happen to encounter in your life let alone date you should have your defense and attack mode on shit Number one is the materialistic girls. These are the girls to whom things matter more than you, and their price tags matter even more than them. It's very easy to identify them as they will always compliment your car, your bike, the watches, the shoes, and the jackets that you're wearing to such an extent that they will even end up asking for the price. But they will never ever compliment you. They will never ever say how well you look in them because they're interested in those things and not in you. Girls like her always run on high maintenance. and they will always acknowledge and care for the packet and not the actual thing that comes inside needless to say more often than not girls like her will always expect you to bring something for her every time you meet her try not taking something for her for a couple of days back to back and see what happens you can thank me later number 2 the dumb girl with a great body she might be super hot <laughs> raising the temperature around her but her brain is absolutely frozen and it has ceased to function and before you go like hey it's not her fault everybody is not the same understand this and listen carefully the girl in the context here the girl i'm talking about is disastrously the dumbest girl in the long statistic history of dumb girls they are immune to everything to such an extent that they don't even understand your feelings and your emotions and trust me there are quite a few of them still not convinced <laughs> be my guest try this Take her out one day when every single guy you come across checks her out with their tongue hanging couple of feet downwards, and they look at you with envy. And your girl, who has absolutely no idea or no clue about what you are going through, nonchalantly enjoys all the attention that's coming her way. Come back and let me know how you feel. Number three is the cheater type. She isn't hard to figure out, isn't it? Because she will be always cocky and will always be up and running with her excuses. she will be always late on a date in fact mostly late on a date and she will be always late to reply to your messages because she is busy replying to handful of them from different other guys even when you guys are together she is more concerned about herself than you she is more concerned about her looks she will always take selfies time to time to make sure that she is looking perfectly okay even when you guys are together she will always chat and text on her phone kind of hide and text on her phone god knows with whom and she will never ever tell you about that and even by mistake if you ask her let alone suspect her she will be on you like as if you smoked some weed while some of you guys might still be boasting the fact that well she chose you among 100 other guys that she could have fallen for rest assured while you are happy basking in that glory she is busy hooking up with karan yash or sam whoever she can get her hands on wait 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 i was kidding don't do that just leave her number 4 is super possessive and over possessive girls apparently there is nothing wrong with her isn't it well everything is fine until it's not few weeks or maybe few months into the relationship and you soon start to understand what you have gotten yourself into being possessive about the person you love is absolutely fine and normal in any healthy relationship but it is good as long as it stays like that Once it starts becoming like an ownership and she starts controlling your life and you have to take her permission before even using the toilet things starts going downhill pretty quickly however people change and their priorities change too but not everybody fall into the same category so if you're okay to witness a disaster and gamble with your life go ahead Number 5 is the daddy's princess because according to her her daddy is the greatest mankind has ever seen. I mean it's not that she shouldn't like her parents, she should love her parents, but when she only talks about her daddy, what he likes, what he dislikes and what he has gone through to become the greatest ever and blah 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 and she can't get over the Gucci shoes, the Armani watches and the Louis Vuitton bag her daddy bought her, you know it's time to move on. <laughs> you are never going to be like his daddy. Your pocket is never going to be as deep as his, and she will never be your princess. Sorry, 
but the dream is over. Number six, the super submissive girl. Initially, you think you're on top of the world. Yes, you are the one truly, the king in the north, hallelujah. And slowly, reality strikes and you see things are stagnating because she can't take any decision by her own. And every day you start exactly from where you left the day before because she hasn't taken anything forward because she's totally dependent on you for decision making. You know what I mean? You're still happy at this point? Okay, imagine this. One day, you're super busy with your work and you're paying absolutely no attention to whatsoever she's telling. But that thing is still very important to her. Anyway, you get distracted and you make a mistake that you simply can't undo. And then you two get into a brawl because you just about have had enough. And since you scolded her, she can't make out for what while all she wanted was some valuable feedbacks from your side. All the floodgates in her eyes open up and she cries herself into dehydration while you become helpless and the meanest villain ever. Make sense now? Number seven is a stripper. Do I really even need to explain that? Last but not the least is number eight, the bitch. She's the worst of them all and she's the perfect evil. She's even capable of ruining 10 such life of yours. So what do you do? Oh no. Take cover and run for your life. No, 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 no. She doesn't want you. Uh -uh. All she wants is a sugar daddy. With all of that being said, I think you are now better equipped to read all the warning signs. Don't blame me later that I didn't warn you. Peace.